Hey everybody, this is Pete with HydroBlocksWest.com. Again, HydroBlocks with an X. That's HydroBlocksWest.com. For more information, go to HydroBlocksWest.com. So here we are at a hill slide uh, job project that we started actually last year. Uh, last year what we did was we put in this, this uh, swale up on top of the hill to capture a good bit of the water that's coming off of this uphill property, this apartment building. There's another apartment building up there. And uh, so what we did was we started with a single board run, then we went to a double board run, and then we went to stormwater boxes just past where you see it's wet. Now, we are in California. We haven't had rain for, you know, I don't know, nine months, whatever it's been, but you can still see there's water there. Okay, so just past the water is where we started with a solid run of stormwater boxes. So now what we're doing before this year's rain comes in, here's one of my stormwater boxes buried. So we are going to connect this four inch pipe to the stormwater box. This four inch pipe then will go all the way down to the street where it'll hit stormwater, um, stormwater, the streets, uh, stormwater, the city stormwater system. This retaining wall is being constructed and that is one heck of a retaining wall. Those uh, beams are going into the ground 10 feet. It's gonna be a seven foot high retaining wall and as you can see behind the retaining wall, hydrobox is being used for the drainage. So what you'll see is, let me just take you over there where we might get a better look. I'll try to do this quick so this isn't too long of a video. But look at that water. Look at that water. So again, underneath here is two board. Right about here it becomes one board because it's just not that, there's just not that much water up here. But this swale needs to be cleaned up. It's been a, oh, been a while since we did it. But nevertheless, that hydrobox is underneath there. And so it's catching all the surface water as well as any subsurface water. But here we have the entire hillside's been cut away. And they're still going to clean this all off and, uh, and do some more grading up here. But take a look at that retaining wall. That's what you call an industrial strength retaining wall. And what's uh, taking care of all of the drainage for that big retaining wall is hydroblocks behind it. You can see how, how we're installing it. We have the vertical wall, and then that vertical wall is sitting on top of one board lying flat. And then we have the... Um, we have the boards pinned up against the retaining wall with two by fours in between. You can see that barely in between the uh, I-beam flange and the hydro blocks. And where we can't fit it, we just have to um, just have to put a small screw into the hydro blocks, connecting it to the wood retaining wall. And that's it. This is one heck of a system that's being done. One heck of a solution that's being uh, created for this homeowner. Take a look at that hillside. Hydro blocks for small residential jobs, hydroblocks for large industrial jobs, and everything in between. That's it. For more information, hydrobloxwest.com.